If you're looking for Figma on a lifetime deal, you're not going to find it anywhere. But if you're looking for an alternative that can actually compete with Figma, I have you covered. It's called the Pixel and it's on a lifetime deal. So let's go check it out right now. Let's start off by checking the lifetime deal for Pixel. So like I said, you can grab this for a lifetime deal instead of paying month to month like you would with Figma. So Figma can get expensive in time when you pay month to month. And maybe you don't need all the features that Figma has. Even though Pixel is really powerful, you got to recognize that Figma is the top dog. But if you want an alternative, this is the way to go. And it's really good. All right. So the $59 deal, it's a lifetime deal. So that means you pay once and use it forever. And there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So that means you can test it out for two months. If you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. Now, let me show you the plans for the lifetime deal. So $59 gets you three editors. 50 gigabytes whiteboard file capacity, which is a really good feature that they have, which is a whiteboard. So if you're not into UI designing, UX, etc., there's also the whiteboard that's really appealing, which I'll show you that also. Okay, 3000 total AI credits to generate images, icons, etc. One professional team workspace like you would on the other license tiers and unlimited personal files, unlimited team projects and file pages and permanent version history storage. So that doesn't get deleted. If you want to go all the way up to tier four, you get obviously more editors, more whiteboard and more total AI credits. But in my personal perspective, if you don't need more than three editors, this is more than enough. Fifty nine bucks. All right. OK, so here's my dashboard and I've been playing around with some UI designs, the whiteboard, etc. All from here. One of the features that I really like is the Explore community. So there's a community that has a lot of files already uploaded that we can use. So, for example, there's UI components, interface collection, icons, designs mobile designs. If I go to mobile designs, you can see all of these and we can actually grab the whole design and edit it based on it. So I can go ahead and check it out. And if I want to edit this one, I just go ahead and copy it. There we go. Open the file and we can start editing based on this or you can start from scratch. And this is going to open up the actual power of Pixel. So each one of these elements can be edited and moved around connected. So, for example, if you're building a an application and you want to have someone develop the back end, well, you give them an idea of how you want the UI to look and how it's going to behave. So, for example, if someone clicks on one of these buttons, I can tell it to behave in a certain way and we can actually play this behavior so they know that if they click on this, it has to take you to this particular section. So this helps you out with that. All right. So on the left, we have the layers, obviously, like you would on Adobe or anything like that. Just go ahead and move the layers up or down, depending if you need to. You got your components, which are the ones used here. You got your resources. And in this case, there's the iOS icon pack. We can use all the iOS icon pack from here. Go back. We got more material designs, remix icons, etc. All used right here on the top. We can add some elements, frame, section, slice. You got your shapes. You got your pen, your pencil. If you want to draw something right here, for a little arrow, like check this out. You can do so by just doing that text connectors scale and more features on the top. Now, once we select the elements, we can have all the options for that particular element on the right. So there's a design for the alignment. Every single aspect of the alignment is right here. Your auto layout, consistent layers, the stroke, the selection of colors here, the effects, the exports all from here, the handoff, turn on def mode. So for developers, Every single aspect of this is going to be right here. Now, it's not as powerful as Figma in terms of the developer mode, but it gets the job done. So if this is more than enough, you can do so with this instead of paying month to month over there on Figma. All right, let's exit developer mode. You got your pro type. This can help you tell developers how this needs to behave. Now, let me show you with a button. So, for example, let me go ahead and use another app that I've previously loaded. OK, so let me show you that option here. So, for example, this gets started button. I'm going to go to prototype and I'm going to add an interaction. I'm going to connect it to this section. So that means that when someone does a single click, it's going to go to that particular section of the app. It could be double click, a drag when hovering, when pressing, etc. after delays, all that stuff. Right. And if they click on continue, it's going to go to this section again with a single click. If they click on register, it's going to go to this page. And you can see we have all the flows right there. And we can connect each one of these ones to different ones. Sign in is going to go this way and register is going to go that way. Right. And we can go ahead and test out the flow. So as I mentioned, you can go ahead and share this with the developer and let them know how this needs to work. If I click on continue, then I go to this section. If I go to sign in, it'll go to the one that I designated. 
and the rest it doesn't work because it has I haven't added any flow type or any feature there okay so it helps you with all that designs now you can go ahead and share this edit this publish it with the community if you want to share it with others so as they did with the spotify one that i'm testing they can share it you can share it with them and have everyone use it in case you created something that you want everyone to use right and if you want to play it do so from here so all those design features available here on pixel the other feature that i like is the whiteboard so i've been playing with this one and a whiteboard is well as it says a whiteboard and you can do a whole lot of things with it so let's give it a second a few seconds to load here we go and this whiteboard you can do a whole lot of things which is going to help you uh, imagine what you want you can create for example mind maps from here so you got options to the frames you got text you got notes for example want to add the sticky note i can do so there flows connections shapes drawing uh, mind map so if i want to start this mind map i can go ahead and start from here and then connect another one another one etc all from here and start my mind map my map from here so it's not meant to be a mind map but you can do so because in the whiteboard it allows it okay you got your tables, blocks, cards, Kanban, and more available right here. And you got your AI assistant. Remember the AI credits that you get on the lifetime deal. Generate images, generate a mind map with it, generate code, presentations, brainstorm, and all that. Depending on the plan that you're on, is the amount of credits that you're going to get. And basically, that's it. I mean, there's a whole lot of things you can do. You can work with team members, editors, etc. All on this on a lifetime deal. So getting all of that, a really professional uh, service, kind of like Figma, with that price, it's a steal, all right? So do consider it if you need something like that. And if you wanna import anything from another service, you can do so. So if you wanna come from Figma over here, from Sketch, Sure, Adobe XD, or even though Pixel, you can do so by file importing. So there's not a restriction in that sense okay so if you want to grab pixel the link will be provided in the description and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out and that's a wrap for this lifetime deal